are we all doing today? So, if you're anything like me, you have a million great ideas for a million different projects which you all decide to start at the one time and then you get maybe half the one finished. And that's kind of what happened with my footstool project. <laughs> um, years ago I bought these footstools off Trade Me. They were from this really flash house in Fendleton so I got two really good quality footstools for 20 bucks. I recovered a footstool in this wonderful deep red and black fabric. I got this fabric from Classic Curtains and Interiors in Rolleston from my friend Max who made our wonderful curtains here and people still comment on them and we've had them for about three years. That's when I bought this fabric. These folks still come in two pieces. So we need to do the lid and the bottom. So the lid, the easiest thing to do, take your fabric of choice. When you're doing this, you need to have the fabric inside out because you're you're going to sew these corners, so you're going to flip it through. So make sure you get the right size of the fabric. So this is the outside of the fabric, this is the inside of the fabric. So the inside of the fabric needs to be facing upwards. All you need to do, make sure you have enough fabric to go all the way around for where you're going to staple it, and you need to sort of leave an extra quarter of an inch that you can roll under to get a smooth edge. If you've got an overlocker, don't worry about it, just use the overlocker. I don't, so I need the extra quarter inch. So once you've taken that into account, take some pins. One thing you need to take into consideration that the pattern is sort of on straight, or on, you know, that it's actually on, that it's not wonky or anything. Just keep an eye out for that. And then literally just feel the edge there, just run your finger along the edge there and just pin like that. And just do that for the four corners. Once you've done that for the four corners, just sort of trim away any of the excess fabric you don't think you'll need. This is sort of your guideline, so just sort of trim it around there. Take it off, sew it on a straight stitch through the sewing machine, just straight down. Four corners, done. Okay, cool. So once you have sewn those corner sections, you can cut away the excess triangle here. What you need to do is pop it through the right way. And make sure that it looks about right. Flip it round. If it's overlocked, you won't need to worry about this. If it's not overlocked, roll your excess under and just staple all the way around. Bada bing, bada boom, your top will be done. Next, we have the base. Take your fabric. Now, because um, this fabric was so expensive, I've measured it up so there will be enough. If this was a cheaper fabric, I would just buy a couple of meters and not worry about it. But this was super expensive. So if you're planning on using super expensive fabric, measure all the way around, and then you want to add a good sort of couple of inches for seam allowance and then measure this way also. Then again, if you have an overlocker, you can overlock the edges. If you don't, you need to roll it, so you need to add an extra couple of inches on. What I would normally do now is just take my fabric and wrap it around the box. Move like that all the way around, making sure there's a couple of inches left here and a couple of inches left here. Because this fabric is so expensive, it doesn't wrap all the way around, so I have to cut another section and sew it together. You want to make sure though that your seams are even for when you do that. I would probably do it half and half. So measure out that, cut a piece that long, and then another piece that long, sew them together, and then join them up. So that the seams would fall on the corners and you wouldn't notice it as much. And then just staple gun it on.
and then you'll end up with this awesome butt still. I love it. See, I'm quite impressed with the finish I've managed to achieve here by just rolling the fabric under and just stapling it on. It couldn't be much easier than that. And then just the inside lid here, just stapled all down, nice and smooth. Inside here, stapled all down, rolled the edge under, nice and smooth. Right guys, so here you have it, my fabulous foot still recovered. I really like them. I think they're great. It, you can use expensive fabric, you can use cheap fabric, as I said. But I just love to repurpose things and I'm not going to go out and buy something brand new when I can just screw something up myself. So yeah, and you would have seen the table that my sewing machine was on the video. That I want to sand down and stain like a cherry red colour with like black syrup. So I think that might be the next project. Although I also want to redo my wardrobe and I've ordered wood for that and a headboard and a TV unit and 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 so many more ends. Ugh, and these stands need painting as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not short of things to do. But anyway guys, as per usual, I am the former Miss M and I wish I was a rich girl. And I really want to go have a coffee now because I'm tired. I love you so much. Mean it.